live now. I have a series of concerts at King's Place, which is just my favourite venue. It's absolutely perfect. It's got a wonderful acoustic, you know, right up there with the best in the world. When I was putting together the series of concerts, I, I was, you know, I had a whole variety of the things which I often do. So pure classical, core classical repertoire. Uh, also working with a jazz pianist, working with a Sufi musician, working with a tabla player. Uh, working with my two ensembles but I wanted something in there that technologically was just like completely out of what I'd ever done before. I asked a good friend of mine Ben Taylor and Ben said ah yes I know just the person and put me on to Todd who was producing and directing this project who uh, had the avenue into the whole field of motion capture. There's 50 cameras around the studio each one is pouring red light onto the the center and these baubles just reflect that light back and some whopping great computers are picking up all that data and then that data can be used to drive a series of different computer generated images and obviously those figures do whatever I do so um, you know if I jump up and down the figure jumps up and down when I play the cello they play the cello so we've been recording all these pieces and that is all data for the VJ Nick Hillel from Yeast Culture to use as part of the mix in the show. I suppose I've always always been a bit of an explorer, so different kinds of music have always appealed to me, any kind of music really, so long as I like it, and improvisation, and also technology, and that's really what led me to this project, I think, a sort of fascination with technology, curiosity. Todd's been great because he just dived in with lots and lots of ideas and obviously he's very used to doing motion capture. He's worked in these funny suits for many, many years. He's seen me perform in various different contexts and he's always been fascinated by how it is that a classical cellist comes to work with DJs, comes to improvise, comes to enjoy house music and that kind of thing. And, and so I suppose he was interested in my journey, what, what I've done, what I've listened to, what's influenced me to bring me to this point. Some of the music is Bach, which will be played absolutely straight in that gorgeous acoustic, but with data from my bow being sent through the computer. So you'll see these amazing images of the bow moving and spinning and, and changing position in space. Then the other music I'll be playing, pieces for cello and electronics by Nitin Sawney and Duncan Bridgman, and some of my own improvisations as well of a piece I wrote with thumb piano last year when I was in Colombia. Musically, I'm, I'm trying to keep it quite simple because I'm aware that this mass of information on screen as well, these things can get a bit too much. So I want to basically make it like a celebration of being a cellist, um, a celebration of, of what one can do and, you know, a fitting finale to this week of 10 concerts at King's Place. Mm -hmm. 